NASA's quantum neural network had done something no one had programmed or even imagined it could do. It bypassed seven layers of internal security, triggered every alarm system in the building, and forced itself into emergency shutdown because the significance of what it had detected was too great for it to continue operating without human oversight. The system's final output before powering down consisted of only three words. They're speaking, not signal detected or pattern identified. But they, as in multiple conscious entities and speaking, as in deliberate communication. It had recognized not simply noise or structure, but the unmistakable characteristics of minds conversing with one another. And the unsettling revelation was that humanity had been unknowingly eavesdropping on this exchange for weeks. What sent senior researchers racing to secure facilities in the middle of the night wasn't merely the recognition of communication. It was what the AI had concluded about it. It had identified coordinated dialogue, entities not only transmitting information but discussing plans, exchanging data, making decisions, and operating according to a timeline. And that timeline ended in 23 days. The quantum neural network responsible for this discovery wasn't experimental or half-finished. It had been fully operational for three years, trained on every known human communication form. Modern languages, extinct scripts, encryption systems, mathematical notation, programming languages, musical patterns, artistic composition logic. And it had also been trained on non-human communication, such as whale song, dolphin clicks, bird calls, and bee dances. If information could be encoded, the AI had studied it. Its primary purpose was to determine whether a signal contained intentional communication. Feed a cosmic noise, and it labeled it random. Feed it anything structured, and it would identify the likelihood of deliberate information encoding. For eight weeks, it analyzed Atlas's electromagnetic emissions, a mysterious object observed in our solar system. Yet its assessment remained inconclusive, structured, possibly intentional, but non-deterministic. That changed when a researcher made what seemed like a minor calibration adjustment, instructing the system to analyze signals over longer continuous windows instead of treating each short burst independently. That one shift broke the mystery open. Instead of isolated transmissions, the AI began identifying coherent conversations. Exchanges with question and answer structure, data requests followed by data deliveries, multi stage dialogues across multiple sources. A researcher later described the realization as the moment background noise resolved itself into the rhythm of foreign speech, when what had seemed like static suddenly revealed itself as structured language. The AI recognized the cadence, the hierarchy, and the intentional sequence of dialogue even though it could not yet translate the content. And then it triggered emergency protocols because of what these conversations contained. Atlas wasn't speaking into a void. It was one of at least three distinct entities engaged in coordinated communication. The AI fingerprinted each electromagnetic signature, identifying unique traits for each source. One belonged to Atlas within our solar system. The second originated beyond Neptune's orbit in a region with no known celestial bodies. The third could not be precisely located. Its characteristics suggested either immense distance or the use of sophisticated relay or amplification technology. Humanity, it seemed, was not observing one visitor but an active network, a triad of communicators spanning vast distances, each engaged in real-time dialogue. Networks imply hierarchy, intention, planning, and purpose. That alone terrified NASA's team. While most message content remained encrypted beyond our decoding capability, the AI extracted structural details revealing intent. Atlas asked questions. The outer solar system source responded. Then Atlas compiled the data and transmitted massive packages toward the distant third source, as though reporting findings. Whatever Atlas was studying, our planets, our resources, our civilization, it was collecting information and relaying it. Even more concerning were the conditional logic patterns embedded in their exchanges. These weren't observational descriptions. These were decision trees, if X then Y structures. This implies planning, assessment of scenarios, selection of actions, 
behavior consistent with either scientific missions or tactical units, and their communication wasn't on a single frequency. They were frequency hopping at high speed, sending fragments of messages across constantly shifting wavelengths to prevent interception. Technology associated with military-grade communication security. Only NASA's AI, monitoring the full electromagnetic spectrum at once, could stitch these fragments together. Two weeks earlier, the frequency hopping pattern changed, becoming far more aggressive, as if the communicators detected surveillance and strengthened their encryption. The timing aligned disturbingly with NASA deploying the AI to analyze their signals. Though unable to translate content, the AI extracted several meaning fragments from contextual structure. One indicated discussion of density and chemical composition, planetary analysis. Another referenced astronomical coordinates, mapping of planetary, lunar, and possibly artificial satellite positions. A third fragment hinted at threat assessments, evaluations of potential danger or resistance. A fourth contained temporal markers that, when plotted, implied a countdown ending in 23 days, though the AI warned this could be misinterpretation. The AI also reconstructed geometric diagrams embedded in the signals. Some represented familiar celestial structures, orbital paths, and solar system geometry. Others depicted unknown structures. One symbol repeated frequently, possibly representing Earth. If so, many conversations involve this symbol in proximity to threat parameters and conditional logic. Days later, Atlas's communication rhythm changed, accelerating as if urgency had increased. The hidden object beyond Neptune went silent for 34 hours, then reactivated from a new position 2.7 million kilometers closer to Earth, movement consistent not with drift but propulsion. Atlas then transmitted navigational coordinates, suggesting objects may soon reposition into lunar orbit within 19 days. A confidential report allegedly stated, we may be observing final positioning before coordinated deployment. That word, deployment, sent shockwaves through the team. But the revelations continued. The AI detected anomalous energy signatures, artificial power emissions, corresponding to four distinct objects. Atlas, the Neptune hidden object, and two previously unknown sources, one in the asteroid belt and one between Mars and Earth. All four activated major power systems within a three-hour window six days earlier. Their signatures exhibited synchronized periodic fluctuations, like multiple systems pulsing together. Power levels were rising steadily, approaching projected maximums in 21 days, aligned with the decoded countdown. Meanwhile, communication silence periods shrank drastically from hours to minutes. Worse, during those silences, the AI detected faint scanning sweeps, multispectral sensor activity. Initially broad and general, these scans gradually focused overwhelmingly on Earth. Within days, over 60% of sweep activity targeted our planet specifically. Resolution increased eightfold. According to simulations, at this resolution, they could identify continents, coastlines, cities, infrastructure, and possibly even assess technological capacity. They were not just observing Earth. They were studying it intensively. Then the AI detected predictive modeling in their scans, projections of orbital paths and satellite trajectories, calculations consistent not with avoidance, but with optimizing positions relative to major population centers. Trajectories aligned with strategic positioning. When researchers asked the AI whether Atlas and its partners posed a threat, the system refused to provide probability assessments, warning that assigning confidence to inherently uncertain scenarios could be dangerously misleading. When one researcher secretly asked the AI to calculate the probability of Earth surviving a hostile scenario consistent with detected threat parameters, the AI took 17 minutes to compute and returned a single value, 3.7%. The researcher resigned the next day. NASA denied the incident, yet the numbers spread through the research teams because it fit too well with what the data implied. And so, in the present moment, Atlas continues communicating with its two partners for artificial energy sources across the solar system power up in synchrony. One object has moved closer to Earth, 
Transmissions contain coordinates for future positioning near our moon. Scanning intensifies with unprecedented focus on Earth. Predictive modeling sharpens. Communication intervals shrink. And the countdown marches toward zero. The AI still listens silently, decoding fragments and monitoring energy signatures as they rise toward maximum output, observing a network of unknown origin mapping our planet with extraordinary precision. The question that remains unanswered, the one NASA's AI refuses to predict, is whether these entities are preparing for peaceful contact or executing coordinated steps toward an event we may not be ready to face. With 23 days remaining, the world stands on the edge of a revelation or a reckoning. While the AI continues to listen, the energy patterns continue to rise, and humanity waits to discover whether we are witnessing the approach of visitors or the final calm before everything changes. By the time the first internal briefings wrapped up, the story of Atlas and its hidden partners had already created invisible fault lines inside the agency's sworn to secrecy. No one dared go public, but nobody could pretend this was just another anomaly to file and forget, either. In one secure conference room after another, exhausted scientists, military strategists, and policy advisors argued over the same inescapable questions. If these entities were planning something, did humanity have any meaningful way to respond, or were they simply spectators to an unfolding script written light years away?